Once we have our camera view, the next step is to do a rendering of this view. To accomplish this, down at the bottom of the screen, there's a small teapot icon, and it's called Show Rendering Dialog Box. Click on that little teapot. When you do, the rendering dialog box will come up on the screen. The first thing that we should know about is quality. Draft quality is the lowest quality, but it's also the fastest way to go about rendering. If you have any concerns as far as what your materials are going to look like, draft is often the best way to go because it'll show you a really quick, grainy, but good representation of how your materials are going to look. Some of the other settings that are there are low, medium, high, and best. Usually low and medium don't take very long to do. Once you get up to high, you have to start thinking about how much time it might take. Best, I've seen renderings in best take as little as two hours. I've seen them take as long as 16 hours, depending on how many light sources are in the project. So usually I recommend rendering at some of the lower settings first, and then if you need something better than that, give yourself plenty of time and then pick one of the better settings off of the list. For this example, I'm gonna select on medium. Coming down, we can see that there's lighting options. Right now, this exterior sun only will work really good for this scene. It's only going to use the sun in the sky to illuminate what it is we're getting ready to render. I will point out, though, that there are exterior, sun, and artificial, as well as exterior, artificial. Anything with artificial is going to be any lights that you have personally have added to the scene. Right now, we've only added a few lights to this project in one room here in the very back. If we did have it rendered those, we would barely see them at all, so I'm not going to have it render any of the artificial lights in this scene. Interior, sun only, and artificial only does exactly what it sounds like. If it's the sun only, you'll only see the results of the sun coming into the space. If it's interior artificial only, it'll be like a nighttime scene. There'll be no exterior lights, and it'll only be those lights inside of the building that light up the space. And then sun and artificial, it'll do both. It'll be both your artificial lights as well as the sun on the inside of the building. Now, if you ever do a rendering and it comes out to be just a little bit dark, particularly if you have your exterior settings on, try to do an interior rendering instead because your interior settings will brighten up the scene just a little bit, and sometimes that'll make all the difference in the rendering that you're trying to do. In this case, though, it should be a bright and sunny day where the sun is in the sky based on where it is that we're standing in relationship to the building. We're just going to pick exterior sun only. There's an option here for background. The background allows you to pick no clouds in the sky, a few clouds in the sky, or a very cloudy day. Also, you can pick different colors or any images that you might have of that site. So if you have a JPEG or a bitmap and you want to have that be in the background, you can do that. For this, we're going to do sky and few clouds. I usually recommend just leaving haze all the way over to clear. And finally, I'll point out there is an option down here for being able to adjust the exposure of your image after the fact, and we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Move your mouse up here and now select on the big render button. It'll bring up a dialog box giving an estimate for how long it's going to take. If there's multiple artificial lights, it'll say there in the dialog box how many artificial lights it's having to process. Also, the screen will usually stay black until it gets to be 50%. If yours hasn't quite reached 50% yet, don't worry about the fact you've been seeing this box jumping around on the screen and nothing changing. Once it gets beyond 50%, it'll start to render just like you're seeing on the screen here. Certain areas will be a little bit faster than other areas. In this case, we can see what a medium level detail of rendering looks like. It's a pretty good rendering. It is a little grainy when it comes to around these spots where the bricks are at, as well as on top of this roof here. We can see here on the steel, it's just slightly grainy, but it gives you a good quality rendering, and this may be good enough for the presentations that you want to do. If you set this to be a best rendering instead, and then take the time to render it through at best, it'll look virtually like a photograph when it's done. Once this has been completed, down here we have image, and there's an option to adjust the exposure. If you click on adjust exposure, you'll have a variety of settings related to the brightness and darkness of the image as a whole, your different tones, your shadows, and general image saturation that you can adjust here on the screen. 
The best advice I can give you is just play with it a little bit and from image to image, condition to condition, you may need to change these settings to adjust them to make your image look just a little bit better. You can always pick on reset to default to put everything back to the default settings and then click on OK to apply those settings. And finally, there's two other options available. One is save to project and the other is export. If you choose export, you can save this image out as a JPEG or a bitmap and then post it on a website or email it to somebody or use it in a presentation. If you choose Save the Project, it'll ask, what do you want to name this? And I'm just going to call this Rendering Exterior. Then you click on OK to that, and it'll save that rendering to your project. Now, I don't recommend saving too many renderings to your project because it'll add the size of whatever that image is directly to your file size and make your file size bigger Tend to limit those as far as saving it into the project to just those that you want to use on maybe your cover sheet or just for certain display boards. Come up to the big X to finish the rendering dialog. So just remember, if you need to do a rendering, come down and pick the little teapot symbol down at the bottom of the screen and then adjust your settings in the rendering dialog box.